Hey guys, today I'll be reviewing and swatching Roman Mood Pebble Nails. I've picked up 4 shades out of the 17 shades available and one additional shade that came in Olive Young Award Box last year. Just a disclaimer that I'm obviously not a nail expert, so bear with me in the swatching and describing certain parts in this video. Now let's start with the packaging. It comes in this cute size square glass bottle and it has 0.25 fluid ounces or 7 grams. For reference, SE Nail Polishes contains 0.46 fluid ounces and the standard size OPI Nail Polishes contains 0.5 fluid ounces. So it is definitely a fun size. It has the standard nail polish brush that is not too thin or thick and it applies the nail polish just fine. For the formula, it is described on the website as a long-lasting nail polish without needing to apply a top coat. Based on my personal experience though, because of how thin the nail polish is, it tends to start chipping after about 2-3 to three days without the top coat. And the worst part for some, but the best part for me is that they peel. I know it could be annoying to some, but I really enjoy peeling them off. These are also advertised as a fast drying nail polish that dries in minutes which also leave you with a clean and transparent look. I totally agree with this statement. On the other hand, as you may already know, jelly nails, basically translucent looking nails, are trending lately. Although these are not advertised as one, you could easily achieve jelly nails using these in 1-2 to two coats for most of the shades in this line. Shall we now move on to the swatches? First up, we have number 1 New Pebble. It is described as a tone or tone nude colour. It leans more towards cool tone with a hint of grey in it. One coat gives you that translucent see-through nails Three coats is quite opaque on my nails for a nude shade like this. It is perfect for everyday wear and does not make my hands look like that of a mannequin. I personally like wearing this in 1-2 to two coats only. However, here's how it looks in 3 coats for your reference. Next is number 4 Mud Green, which is described as a mystic green tea colour. It gives a similar mood and tone as the previous shade New Pebble. It in my opinion complements warm skin undertone well and if you have a cool undertone, it can also warm it up. I like to wear this in 3 coats because as you can see, it is pretty see-through. And 1-2 to two coats seems too thin for my liking. It reveals more of mud green the more you layer it. It can still be worn as a daily shade on our light medium skin tone but of course it shows more of the personality as compared to the previous shade. Moving on to number 9, Amber. It is described as a caramel brown colour with amber colour which I totally agree. It is a kind of colour that you either love it or hate it. First coat is a no-no for me as it leans more towards yellow because of how transparent it is. However, I love layering and wearing this in 2-3 to three coats. I am in love with this shade. It has a great depth and gives out enough warmth as it has an amber base to it. I'd highly recommend you just go for it. Who knows, it might just become your favourite. Another dark shade that I have picked up is number 10 Dusk Navy. It is described as a cosy navy black colour. For one coat, it gives you a very sheer finish. 
I recommend you going for 2 to 3 coats at least for this shade. It definitely builds up nicely and gives that something something instead of just wearing black nail polishes. I love this for days that I want to put on deep dark nails but still want my nails to look interesting. Like, I want the people to wonder, is she wearing a black nail polish? Or wait, is it navy? Is it a blue black? <laughs> you get my point. Last but not least, the shade that I have for the swatch is Nude Grey. It came together with Roman Juicy Lasting Tint in number 25 Bear Grape end of last year on Olive Young. If you could get your hands on it, it is a colour you would not want to miss. It is a muted pink to plum shade that really resembles the lip tint and is a shade I enjoy wearing in any number of coats. One coat gives me that wash of plum and two to three coats just look amazing. Number 2 Rosy Syrup seems to be similar to this shade without much plum and cool undertone in it. For me, this is also another daily shade when I want to feel ladylike. This is all I have for today guys. I've been loving these Mood Pebble nails from Roman and there is a wide range of shades to choose from. You could also easily achieve jelly nails with these nail polishes if you are into them. They may not be as long-lasting as advertised. For someone like me who likes to switch nail colours fast in a matter of a few days and cannot sit still for long when I do my own nails, these are just amazing. I've also purchased some of their new colours, so if you guys want nail swatches of them, do let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching till the end and I hope that this video was helpful for you. See you in my next video.